Hey everyone, this is my first YouTube video and I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday. It's an unboxing video. Um, I received this gift from my dad from Excite by Alganum Electronics. You can see the bag's empty, so I'll show you what I got. Hero 5 Black GoPro, along with a wireless shutter selfie pole. So I received these two as my birthday gift and I'm going to do an unboxing. We'll start off with the Hero 5 Black GoPro and then we'll have a look and see what's in this box. And there goes the cat. So the Hero 5 Black. Um, it comes in a really cool box. This is a plastic um, box up here, so you could actually see the GoPro. And then within this box should be a GoPro mounting frame, mounting frame, uh, a mounting buckle, and then two adhesive mounts, one flat and one curved. And it also includes the manual. On the back here, you've got the GoPro apps that you can use. So use your phone to control your GoPro. It tells you the three apps that you should have um, in order to get the best out of your GoPro camera. Along this side, we've got the specifications of the GoPro camera, uh, the photos, the videos, and the details. It's waterproof. You've got a simple one button, one button control, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which I think is really cool. Advanced wind noise reduction, very good. Voice control, video stabilization, touch display, stereo audio mic input, location capture, and the photos. So it says here that also it is waterproof, voice control, stabilization, and touch display. So let's start by unboxing this thing. I'm gonna open this down here okay I guess it turns out to be a bit harder than expected so I just have to pull it out this way oh, there we go just broke it in between And this is turning out to be a major fail because the sticker will not come off. So, and I broke a nail as well in between. Okay, it looks like they didn't want me to get this out of here. There we go. So we have a little arrow here to pull down and abracadabra, we can open this box. Phew, finally done it. So we've got the camera which is attached to the top of the box here. As you can see, there is the whole um, holder and it's all clipped in. We'll come to that in a second. Let's open up this box. We have the menu let's get started we've got some stickers there and we've got important product and safety instructions always important to read through those let's close that all right we have got the battery GoPro and we have a cat coming to check it out so we have the GoPro battery in there there is no battery charger included in this you'd have to buy it separately however there is a USB wire so this wire you can plug it in of course to any USB um, port or if you have an adapter that um, plugs into the wall wall, um, wall plug you can plug that in there and that goes into the GoPro somewhere. And then we've got the adhesive mounts. So 
you have to peel that off there. Two different ones. There's the curved one and I guess a straight one as well. We'll find out how to use those later on, probably in another video. And uh, nothing else in there, so let's close that up. Right, let's get this camera off here. Pinch, no, let's lift up. Pinch, and I've watched this in so many videos and I've forgotten how to do it again. And push, there we go. We have got the camera. So the camera comes in this case, however, it is already waterproof. So uh, it comes in this case, which can be removed. Again, kind of difficult, but let's see. Let's lift this up here. We have this point up here, as you can see, not really connected. You lift. probably do with some extra hands. Strength, there we go, thank you. Lift that up there, that comes off. So, right, that was what was clipped on. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it back on. Then you need to push the GoPro camera out. So slowly. Yeah. Go. The camera. Right, that's just a sticker. I obviously do not have a dog sitting here. So this is the cover that it came with. Um, clips on. It is pretty strong. So I guess for, you know, durability and so on. But uh, it does take a little bit of force, don't worry about it. Um, comes off, keeps it nice and secure as well. Um, you can, of course, unclip here, remove that. There is a little piece which says remove. All right, so um, as it says on the box as well, that the micro SD card is required however it is sold separately i found out that i had one um i have one which is currently in the camera that i am using at the moment so it is just a small um micro sd card i think it's about 32 gigabytes possibly um i will need a bigger one of course but for now that will have to do so we have some buttons here around the side i really like the shape and size of it we have the record button, which is up here to take your photos, to record the videos, etc. We have a mode video here to change the mode of, uh, sorry, a mode button, to change the mode of the um, pictures that you are taking or the videos. We have a little button here. If you press this and push, that lifts up and you have your charging points so you can charge and connect your USB through this point so push it back down through. so it's this one here if that's the lens there it's this one here push down push out and lift up you have your two charging points so at least those are kept under cover nice and safe waterproof etc flip it over upside down we have another one here again push open so the battery goes of course I've not added in the battery I will have to do that soon and then there is a little slot here for your um, SD card which will fit in through them uh, again like I said mine is in my camera right now so I'm gonna put that in um, once I'm done with this one push that down there we go so I am going to remove this lovely sticker now So here is the screen. I'm going to switch this on and see what happens. So I'm going to press this button here. Oh, wait, good point. I would need a battery to go in there. So open that there. 
pull my battery out. Now I'm gonna put the battery in. It goes in. So if that's the front of the camera, it's upside down. You've got the GoPro there. On my battery, it says GoPro here. It is going to go in like so. Push it down all the way. It clicks. Push that down and close. Make sure it just closes really tightly there. Right, flip it all the way back around. Now I'm going to press and hold this button here which says mode to switch it on. And get a nice little beep and there you go. You have my view. Luckily it's 100% charged. So I'm going to figure this out. I have not, like I said, uh, because I've just unboxed it, I have not figured out anything. I have watched a few videos on YouTube, but I need to now play around with this and see what happens. So I will check it out and I will do another, un not unboxing, but um, discovering the GoPro camera once I am ready. All right, let's go on to the next point. So that is the GoPro camera. There are some numbers on there. Ooh, it's still on. I guess I have to hold. There we go, we get our little beeps. And off. So, I'm gonna place that there for now. And we will have a look at the second package, which was this wireless shutter selfie pole. Alright, so again, this comes with a few different pieces. It looks like the main pole, there is some sort of button, some other bits to keep them stable. It says that it comes with a wireless shutter selfie pole, USB charging cable, two smartphone adapters, a clip, and a user manual. Right, nicely packaged. Um, I'm glad they're not just floating around in the box. So this is the main part of the selfie stick. Nice color. I guess that's to help us hook the other bits on. To hold on to as well. It's um, it's quite light, but durable. It feels feels pretty strong. There is the name of the product right there. So we have some pieces. Let's have a look at this is the control button. Camera 360 iOS and Android. So I guess I'd have to set that up. There is an on and off button. Yeah I'm not sure if there's any batteries in there. Uh, it's a remote shutter, easy to set up and use. There we go. Oh, there is a battery in there. Put that in there. Okay, that's the battery. We have some sort of holder. Yes. You see that that goes on to them. For your phone, if you would like to put it in uh, sideways. Screw that on there. Yes, if we have an iPhone, yes, that would fit. Lift that orange bit up there. Clips over the phone. And there you have it. That's not screwed in, but... If you were to screw it in, it would look something like that. So, nice. So, this orange bit here actually lifts up and down depending on the size or, or the width of your phone. Uh, of course, you know, the smaller iPhones probably wouldn't need to be lifted up for that. So that's the first piece. 
additional piece. We have For the GoPro. Yes, there we go. This piece here, like I said, if you remove that, that will be able to clip on in its place. It's got the same grooves there, so then you can place the GoPro on top. I'm not going to unscrew this part just yet. Um, I want to keep that together for a little bit, but that would basically take the place of that there so you have the cover you'd put the phone um the gopro back in there and then you can hook it up to this so that you can have a um i guess higher view if you'd like to take selfies or vlogs of you filming as well so again that will just screw on to there very easily that's the second part and we have ooh, more little bits all right so that I guess for my cover, keep all of that together. We have a basic stand, does that, oh, there we go. That also falls out. Um, let's see what this one could be for. Charging cable, USB charging cable, or for the iPhone, yes. Aha, there we go. We have the two screw points there. So if you wanted your phone to be in landscape mode, possibly. I'm not quite sure. I have to figure that one out. It does say that there is a user manual. However, I do not see a user manual. Well, that sucks. Thanks for your user manual. Is he? So I will have to look this one up a little bit more because it does say that it comes with a user manual. However, I cannot find a user manual in the bag, uh, in the box, sorry. So not quite sure what this one is for. Could be for the iPhone, could be for something else. There is a screw point there, there is a screw point there. So you can either put it on that way or that way. I will just have to figure it out and see what I can do. And then you can hook this up here. Yeah, so you have another little screw point there. Keep your bits together, I guess. If I want to take that one out, I can screw that up together. Uh, if I was planning on just taking the GoPro, uh, GoPro bits out, there we go. So I can clip that onto my bag or anywhere else so I do not lose it. Um, that would not fit onto there. No, it kind of sucks because I think this would be the most important thing that I would not want to lose in this case. So I'll just have to hook that onto a keychain or something and see what happens. So we've got one piece, two pieces, three. Let me just take these little bits off. There we go. There we go. On for my GoPro, that's the most important one. And the main selfie stick. Here. Wonder if that expands. Yes, it does. There we go. We can expand that quite a bit actually. It expands to about 93 centimeters. So almost a meter, which is pretty good. Pretty good. And you can lock that into place. No, you can take that off. Oh, so that rotates as well. And then you can tighten it up. So if you want it at sort of facing you angle, place it like that, tighten that up. There we go. You'll be holding it something like that. All right, so that is my first unboxing video. The GoPro, GoPro camera right here. tools that came with it so my USB charging point I have some adhesive mounts here mounts to place them I have my case Oops, there we go the case that opens up 
comes with it as well. User manuals, some stickers. Let's get started. So I think that's what I'm going to be reading to go through. And the selfie stick, the wireless shutter selfie hold with the tools there. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, I will be back with some more videos once I start to look through the GoPro and figure out exactly what I can do with it. Thank you all very much. See you again. If you can get rid of that, there's no need to have it. Is it still recording? <laughs> I'll crop it off. Yeah, you, I mean, you can get a picture of it or part of it falling. <laughs>